We made it. 7 a.m. on Monday. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We survived it. We did pretty well. Um, mm -hmm. We've we've it's at, what is it like three thirty in the afternoon? Four fifteen. So we waited this long because we didn't know if the power was going to come back earlier. We didn't. We weren't sure. We didn't realize it, but we think the county is under uh, curfew until six p.m. to kind of give the first responders and utility companies easy access to the roads. But as you can see, it's pretty sunny. It's partly cloudy day now. It, what we did wake up. It did, there is a breeze now, but it was pretty windy up until like two hours ago, I'd say. And then I got the notification this morning that um, my office building is still gonna be closed tomorrow, so I'll still have tomorrow off um, with the intention of going back Wednesday, but I'm not sure if that means that like maintenance crews went out to my building or not. Or if they're just assuming that, you know, they're giving us another day to get everything back together because we have associates that work all over the state, you know, that were hidden heavy, heavier hit spots than others. Um, but it's funny that some people, like Jill never lost power. Chelsea didn't lose power till like three in the morning. We lost power until 1.15. One, one in the morning we lost Callie power. Callie didn't lose 6 power. 6 p.m. Callie and Kara didn't lose power at all. Uh, it's interesting. So we're just making do. And uh, it was funny, like the bedroom, the whole area looked like a big sleepover with stuff everywhere, but everything's back to normal now. Oh my God. We literally just came outside to walk Eve, and we think the air conditioning came back on. The entire apartment complex is cheering. <laughs> Yay! Eve! We got air conditioning. I can hear all the AC units kicking on. <laughs> What's funny is, as we were getting the dog ready to come outside, um, we were coming ready to get the dog ready to come outside. All of a sudden, the lights fl flickered on, and we heard everybody screaming in the apartment above us, like stomping the feet, like, yeah! And then it went all back off, and everyone was like, oh, no. But it's all out, it's all out now. All right, so, because today was a little crazy, a little different because of the hurricane and being out of power, um, we got power back. Well, we didn't film. Um, we filmed a little bit, as you see, saw. Um, but we're gonna fill up the rest of the today with a little short Q&A. Yeah. The other vlog is surprisingly already up. We were kind of like, that was the reason we didn't really film was because we thought we would just do one takes. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't think we'd get power this quickly, so hot dog. All right, our first question is, what is your favorite snack? Disney Park snack. <clears throat> Cause I, have I feel like they have a hard time deciding. Mine's easy. Most things. This is super <laughs> Sarah. My favorite snack is the Mickey Premium Bar. I'm just gonna say French fries. Because I feel like I've been in a French fry mood. Disclaimer, never heard it before out of her mouth. <laughs> Next question. What is your favorite drink on property? Now this was from J-Rock and I wasn't sure if this was like alcoholic, non-alcoholic, special, regular. So we'll do two. So we'll do our favorite non-alcoholic drinks, which are? Lava smoothie which is a pina colada virgin with um, raspberry puree. Very, very good. It can be found at like most of the bars or even some every, of the- Every bar I think does it. Yeah, every restaurant even that has a bar. Mine is gonna be a plain old Joffrey's coffee. Though I don't care what flavors, whatever the, whatever your Joffrey's on drip. It, <laughs> that's my favorite. <laughs> Sorry, but my, um, Eve is just being a little- I think J-Rock meant like favorite like mixed drink or something like that, which would be for me specifically, be the old fashioned from the Meisner's uh, Lounge at Grand Floridian, but I like to try out the old fashioned at any bar or lounge we go to on property. Okay, our other one was your favorite quick services at all the different parks. Yes, so let's do favorite quick service at Animal Kingdom. I think we both agree on this one. Plain Tree Barbecue. Yes, would be That's flame tree barbecue. There. Always smells good, always quick. Cold pork. Always delicious. So good. Also, if you're a cast member, you get your cast member discount there. Well, you did in 2011. I think you get your cast member discount there. I think you get annual pass discount there. Please let us know down below if we're completely wrong. Yeah. Um, Hollywood Studios? Favorite quick service at Hollywood Studios? Oh, it would be um, Sunset Ranch. Yeah. There's like a lot of, it's, I don't know if it's all called Sunset Ranch or not. We just but call it all of that. 
Yeah, because the other one was like Rosie's Cafe. I noticed when we went there the other day. Um, but there's just like many food options right outside Tower of Terror, Fantasmic area, and there's always something good that you'll yeah. find there. What about Epcot? Epcot. <sighs> I'm biased here because I used to work at one. You're going to say the electric umbrella? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I worked at the, at the electric umbrella, which is the What's the fun quick fact service. There? The fun fact about the electric umbrella is it's the busiest fast food restaurant in the world. It's yes, crazy. Peter it worked there. So I worked there for six months, but it's not my favorite because honestly, we, we never go in there to eat. No. We um, almost did the Quick idea. service would probably be, be, probably be what's uh, Four Seasons called? Four Seasons? No. Um, sunshine tree. Yes. No, no. way. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Magic Kingdom. Sunshine something or others. Oh, uh, sunshine seasons. <laughs> I have a hard time <laughs> saying the word sunshine. <laughs> but it's in the, the basement of the line right outside the of it. <laughs> right outside of I um, guess it is. <laughs> it's the basement. We have the gigs from the hurricane. <laughs> um, it's right outside of Soren. But we go and there for breakfast. I'm going to pick one that's way better. <laughs> and that is fish and chips from the UK. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> what house are you from Hogwarts? Wait, we forgot Magic Kingdom. Oh, we did forget. Oh, Magic Kingdom. What are you doing? She's playing with a sock. Right, Magic Kingdom <laughs> would be. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Casey's probably? Yeah. I mean, Columbia Harbor House is a really close oh, second. Be our like, guest. I like the red and the cheese and their potato leek. Be our guest is not our favorite. It's very good, but it's not our favorite. Casey's is probably your favorite. Pinocchio Village House? Columbia Harbor House, Pecos. How does one choose? Uh, um, if Pecos had the um, taco <laughs> salad with the edible bowl, that's my favorite. I don't care what the answer is. I would favorite. just say Casey's Corner. There you go. Corn dog nuggets. I don't like their hot dogs. All right. Then we were asked what house would we be in in Hogwarts. And I would be Gryffindor. And I would be Ravenclaw. We have not taken the actual official. That's how you did. I did, but they've changed it since then. Okay, I never did. Sarah just we told me to be will... Gryffindor. <laughs> I am the sorting <laughs> Um, We will maybe actually do that one day. Shortly. We don't have internet. So we have, we have, um, we oh. have electricity back. Yeah. We don't have internet back. So like the vlog that went up today was off of my iPhone. But I just feel like those two houses, like just knowing Harry Potter, that those are the houses that we'd be in. So we'll do the official test eventually. Well, I like this one. Favorite Disney bound you've done? Mine's easy. Uh, I've only done about three, so I'm gonna go with Mickey Mouse. Um, this one just keeps popping back in my head. Which I did um, like Lady Tremaine. Which one? So I photographed like every March. Sarah does the. What, three or four of them? What? March Disney Bound Challenge? I, th I think I'd run three. There's done three March Disney Bound Challenges, which is when you Disney Bound every day for the month of March. I'm the I'm the official photographer, mm -hmm. so I've seen them all. It was like the, her dress, same color dress, and it was, when I used to share a house with both of my siblings, I had three closets to go from. And Jenna had like, just like the spot on, like, turquoise jewelry necklace and stuff so that one and I um, really like a aerial kiss the girl Disney mount I did where it was just like like a black vest white shirt like royal blue pants and then I have like the perfect kiss the girl necklace so those are the two that I that stand out in my mind they don't I don't remember but I'm sure they were great <laughs> next one is this is a good one Favorite place to sit and people watch? <laughs> this, and if you've seen other videos, will make sense, is the garbage can outside of the bakery on Main Street. And that's because it coincides with my favorite place to eat breakfast in Disney World, which is on that garbage can after grabbing a quick hot ham and cheese or any kind of breakfast item from the bakery. Yeah. 
That's probably where we people watch the most often. Main, um, anywhere on Main Street. Yeah, I'll say Main Street. I would say this may be our last one. Sure. Our last one is, what is your favorite trip? And I assume this is, what is your favorite trip to Disney World? Yes. Favorite How many trips have I gone on? Well, I've gone on quite a few now, but. I will say my favorite trip was in the fall of 2011. I went on a six month trip. <laughs> Called the Disney College Called the Program. Disney College Program. Sarah and I, um, Sarah had grown up going to Disney World and I had never been to Disney World my entire life. So me and Sarah both got accepted to the fall 2011 Disney College Program. Eve is deciding to eat right now <laughs> in the middle of the night. Um, <laughs> But we, Sarah thought it was, would be a good experience and a fun time for us to go on vacation the whole week before we started the internship because she wanted me to experience the magic of Disney World before it was our responsibility to make the magic of Disney World. It's not World. like you could have like turned back and been like, oh yeah, this isn't for me, but it still was nice. It was great. It was the best time ever. Yeah. It was my favorite trip ever. My favorite trip, can I pick one from my family and one from with you? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't say that because it's like separate necessarily from like family trips and me trips. It's like Sarah grew up going with her family, and then when me and Sarah went on the college program, that divide of me being in the picture for the trips was like her being an adult slowly transitioning into this her living here. Yeah. Um, so I would say my favorite trip when I was young was in 2006 when my um, dad surprised my mom with a vow renewal at the boardwalk at Seabreeze Point. Um, she had no idea it was happening, but we just were supposed to go on dinner cruise and we walked around the corner and all my family was there. Um, so that was really cool. We, it was nice, we had like almost a week there just on normal vacation. And then we had like a good like five or six days after with my family and then my both my grandmas came then and then they stayed. So that was probably my favorite trip ever. Child. <laughs> Sorry, Eve was going to town with my food. Um, and then our my favorite trip with us, I would say, was probably May of last year. That was a we. I mean, I really liked our first trip. I mean, I kind of lumped that with the college program, but I really do like the trip. That but I May just trip was was pretty that, outstanding. It was yeah. ten days. Ten yeah. days. That was like the longest trip that we, that was like the most like real vacation trip that we took because all of our other trips were like since the college program were like we are still cast members, we had free tickets, we had to like base our trips around something. That was the first like, but that oh, was, like our tickets. First, and um, I really, really liked it. It was a fun we trip. We ate a lot of good food. If you go to, we'll just link right here the Fat Out 207 because if you go, we have an entire playlist of all of the May all of the, all of the May uh, vlogs but that was a lot of fun it was 10 days yeah and that was the first time we were vlog for real yeah it was the first real vlogging that we so, did so that was that was a good trip and with that thank you for enduring the hurricane um, Iram Irma <laughs> keeps calling it Irma I don't know why but yes give us thumbs up leave a comment down below Hit the subscribe because we have many fun antics and trust me if you thought we were ridiculous before we are getting in the depths we are this close to the socially acceptable depths of the fall season yeah and we get did we say peter gets off work tomorrow yeah i'm off work tomorrow because my office is still closed it hasn't been cleared for security or like safety reasons yeah so we will be going to the park tomorrow for yeah. longer Sur for a longer day surprisingly like i i thought that the vlog wouldn't return to normal for a couple of days, but... We didn't have any interruption. Yep. All right. Well, friends. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Successfully took on our first hurricane. Our thoughts and prayers are with everybody who have been extremely affected by Hurricane Irma right. and who still have the storms and winds. I know it's still... So is Eva, Eva's too. <laughs> um, we still know it's going towards Georgia and everything, so we'll, you're in our thoughts. Yeah, we're very fortunate to be able to have power already. Um, There's people yeah. a mile down the road that don't right now. Right. And even have a lot, you know, less damage than a lot of people do in the area. So it could have been a lot worse. And we appreciate all of the comments of everyone saying that they were thinking of us. Checking and in on um, us. wishing us to stay safe. 
during the hurricane. So we really appreciate that. And now for real, it's good to, it's be, home. Good to be home. <laughs> if you've seen this little guy in the background of our vlogs, it is not because he's super cute and there for decoration. It's because Eve still has baby teeth that are, that are stuck in her mouth and she loves to chew the carpet and she's actually scared of Wally. So we put him there to prevent her from chewing up that corner. Good job, Wally. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.